you're watching movies, having a get together, watching the game, then popcorn. But how about some fresh popped right at home in a super simple way. This is brand new from Holstein. It's a popcorn maker that just has one button. You just plug it in, you put your kernels, a little bit of oil, that noise you're hearing is that fresh, hot, crispy, little salty, maybe a little sweet, perfect popcorn. And then guess what, when you're done, that top, that lid actually turns over and turns into your bowl to serve the popcorn out of. This is so cool, it's on birthday pricing, $29.95 for you, but five flex payments on that as well. It is a super, super simple way to get that wholesome snack and then customize it. It comes with a little recipe booklet as well for many, many different fun ideas. Carrie, <laughs> this Hello. is like so old school. I love this sound and the steam and the smell. So fun and so Look easy. I mean, so when things are fun and easy, that makes you want to get in the kitchen. It makes you want to have a good time. And with Holstein, we've made it fun and easy for you. That's what we're all about. So here is popcorn. We just, we're going to have some ready, some so more ready in just a minute. But it only takes a matter of minutes, and you're going to have the freshest, fast-tasting popcorn. Why? Because you can use your own oil. You can use your own kernels. Yeah. You can use your own toppings and flavors. Over here, we actually did our M&Ms, some white chocolate. And, and that's when it's finished, that's all you have to do. I want to come to this one really quick because it's actually done. So, so all you did was put kernels in. A little oil, oil, a little kernel, okay? And that's it. And then what happens is right on the side here, we actually have the, the handles. You go to the top of the handles and this actually comes completely off, you see? So then all we're going to do is we want to make sure that our cover's on top, okay? Because this is actually the vent on top. So there's a cover that comes with it to make it a now bowl. So we're going to flip it over just like this. Now you can leave this on if you were, say, you know, not going to serve it for a couple minutes you want like to stay that hot idea. leave that back you know leave that on but then you just place it right back here and then let's do some toppings real quick so then okay. we're going to get to that one there so now maybe we just want to do some pepper we want to do some parmesan all over oh maybe gosh. we want to do some you know cheddar salt salt and pepper is like one of my faves actually yeah. so i'm going to do I a little bit know. of salt i want to know you guys are watching on facebook kettle corn or classic popcorn because that seems to be a point of contention in my yeah <laughs> so let us know on facebook i love that how long did this take like. then because i mean so it's only a matter of minutes. I'm gonna place this one on here so we can start again in just a moment. Um, so we're gonna pop that guy there and we'll come back, but this one okay. is finished. So then we're gonna start one from scratch so I can show you, but you'll know it's finished when it's full. So here you see this bowl is filled here. You don't have to pop an entire full amount either. So okay. if you used a little less, you would be totally fine to do that. A little less oil and a little less popcorn. Um, so we're gonna come back and do this one in just a second. I'm gonna let that cool for a moment. I wanna show you how to start this from scratch. Okay. So when you're here, here, as I was telling you, this whole piece comes off, but then so does the top part, the lid. So we're just gonna take the lid off for a moment. I'm gonna set it right over here. And then we're going to give you a measuring cup that actually is gonna help you to know how much oil okay. and how much of your kernels. So I've already pre-measured, it's 30 milliliters, so the manual will actually tell you how much to put. So we're gonna pour that just like so. If you wanted to flavor your oil, uh -huh. you could add things like, um, if you wanna do a spicy, we actually have a couple recipes in the book, you could do a spicy oil. You can add, uh, we could do jalapenos we could add to the Ooh. oil. We can add bacon fat, actually, if you want to do a bacon popcorn. That's <laughs> really popular right now. So you feel free to add to your oil any type of spices that you want to infuse into the popcorn. And you don't have this on yet. Not yet. Correct? Okay. Correct. So leave it okay. off while you do So we can this. do that. So actually, I mean, we could turn it on. So you can actually have it on and have it preheating. Okay. So for about two minutes. So you see, this is the stirring wand. So this is what's keeping it from burning. So what's happening is it's actually going to turn all the kernels and make sure that they're going to get evenly heated okay. and that's what's going to help it pop. So now over here we are going to do approximately two cups. So for every 30 milliliters of oil, which is in the manual, so you don't have to remember this right now, you're just going to do about two cups of kernels. And you see automatically, this is already spinning it around. It's already heating up the kernels. So we wanna go ahead and put our bowl on. So it's a lid and a bowl, which I think is so fun. Um, and here's another thing to know. As this is popping, you can place some butter right here in the top. Oh. And it'll actually melt right into the popcorn. So I think that that's a pretty oh fun gosh. thing as well. So once this is preheated, in a matter of minutes, we're gonna start to see it popping. When we're done, again, this lid here turns this into a bowl. Okay. But we want to let it vent right now because it's actually popping, right? So we're going to let that happen. So here, I'm going to come back over to this one. We're going to start this one as well. So let's do that one more time so that... I love the idea, too, that you can control the ingredients because, you know, a lot of times it's like we don't know what's in those bags and we're 
throwing them in the all. microwave. And you don't want to know what's in those bags. I know. <laughs> or maybe you want something custom. Like if I'm in the Absolutely. mood for whatever that beautiful concoction is right there. Your you've sweet. got your chocolates and your little bit of sea salt. I mean, you can control it. My boys would love this. They would love being able to... And see I love that you said that. See it pop. Because you know what? Nowadays, so many things are so um, automatic that, you know, eat, say you're doing microwave popcorn or you just buy popcorn at the store that's already made. Well, that's well and fine, but guess what? You just missed family time. You missed something that could actually be really fun to do together. Yeah. And that's what makes this so, I think, a callback to tradition, a callback to spending time with family. And it's easy. The kids can get involved with this. The grandkids can get involved with this. That's what Holstein's all about is yeah. bringing you back in the kitchen to have fun, to have a good time and to me this makes me think of watching movies Absolutely. this thinks about the you know the party um you're probably gonna sit here and say gosh you know what i wish i had this right now for fourth of july because i would make this popcorn like, right here yeah and again all we did was just put some cover you know chocolate covered candies some white chocolate you can do caramel you can do dark chocolate you can do savories again as i talked about the bacon and things like that so and then at the end when you're finished all that you're gonna do is then take your ready-made popcorn and maybe this one was our regulars you remember from the beginning mm -hmm. and then I'm just gonna put some cheddar so you said do my cheddar powder you could do um, any pretty much anything your imagination can come up with and of course if you're into Pinterest or you're into like a lot of different ideas yeah you will find so many popcorn recipes you could do s'mores oh my so gosh. you could put marshmallows chocolate you could do uh, cinnamon you know and nutmeg more for the holidays like a pumpkin spice popcorn I mean you could really just have fun with this and again that's what I tell you it brings the family back together and look how much it turns out I mean eight cups that's eight cups of popcorn that and now this one's gonna capacity. pop so it's starting oh, right it's now fun. this look is the exciting that time so it's starting right now you'll see a couple and then all of a sudden this is going to go fast and that's um I I, I turn into like I don't know like an eight-year-old all of a sudden it really is exciting to watch <laughs> I don't know um, I didn't even mention you guys there are two colors you can choose from yes. there's black and there's red whichever you choose you get this whole thing so you get the set you get the lid that turns into your serving bowl and you also get a little <laughs> recipe booklet as well so just choose your color this is brand new you guys have not gotten to see this yet it's so exciting <laughs> <laughs> that we have this for under thirty dollars too, which yeah. is so now all you have to buy is the case of the kernel of the corn, which they, yeah. they have at the grocery store. Or maybe there's a specialty one you want to try. Absolutely, and well, that's you know, gonna last forever. There's different oh types gosh. of kernels. So there's there mush, there's mushrooms, and then there's there's the kind that the movie theaters use, which is kind of sometimes your cheaper kind, guys. Yeah. So if you want to get some really good when you buy gourmet popcorn, the reason why it's like expensive is because it's a better kernel. So now you can choose organic. You can choose a mushroom type kernel. You yeah. can choose all of <laughs> You see what's happening? What so it's so exciting. It's so fun. And, you know, being able to then, you know, customize what you're doing is, is the part that I love about it. So while this is finishing, I'm going to place the butter right on top. So all that steam is coming. The steam up. is going to melt it right into the popcorn, you guys. So that's going to actually already have the butter. So I'm just going to do this around here just to make sure it's, it's going. Oh, Look it's going that. in and there. And so there's a little piece that's spinning around underneath that yep. stirs it to keep it from burning. Absolutely. So it's really pretty simple to do. And then I'm just going to pop this right at the end. So I'm going to pop this on top. It's going to help that butter just really seep down into it. I'm going to stop this because I think we are pretty much done, guys. It'll keep spinning, but you know that once it's full and you stop hearing the pops, yeah. that's how you know it's time to turn it off. If you leave it too long, it'll start burning those kernels at the bottom because of course it's done. Yeah, just like if you left <laughs> so, it in the microwave. Uh -huh. Make sure you just pop it right off. And then again, all you want to do is go back with whatever toppings. Let's get crazy with this one. I have some caramel sauce here. So, oh, yeah. You know, this is the easy way to do a caramel popcorn. You guys are loving this on Facebook. Azure D from the HSN Fanatics fan page said it's great for slumber parties. So many healthy options. James says he likes kettle corn. I'm there with you, actually, James, <laughs> with sea salt on it. Um, but yeah, you guys are loving this too because it's just fun. It's unique. You're not breaking the bank to get something nope. home that. You know, cooking doesn't always have to be so serious. Like sometimes right. it's nice to do something that's just for the pure pleasure and fun of it. And then getting to customize it and 100%. getting your kids involved or your grandkids. You know, it's exciting. Every time I tell my son, like, we're gonna we're gonna make smoothies tonight or we're gonna, you know, bake a cake, he, he gets really excited. They look forward to that and they get to spend time with you. Absolutely. You know? That's the hugest part. And I think that's what Holstein serves is, is, you know, giving us fun ways to get in the kitchen and easy ways. This is easy to clean because it's got that nonstick bottom when you're done 
done with this. You're just going to wipe this clean, okay? Oh, okay? So it's very easy to, you know, you're not going to have a lot of um, residue or anything like that. And again, because that comes right off, it makes that part easy as well. So here we have our popcorn here. I'm going to do some coconut on this one. So maybe we want to do some coconut and maybe you want to put some nuts in here, like macadamia nuts uh, would be really good with uh, actually with the coconut here. I have um, to try one of these. Yeah, please I'm go going for in. it. So it's really up to your imagination. Anything that you want to put in here, again, you're oh using your own kernels, you're using your own oil. 